Alright, what's good y'all? Welcome to the All Heart Grit and Grind channel. Yes, what I want to talk about today is um, them uh, authorities not um, acting with any type of urgency on this Shanquilla Robinson case because it's been like three or four months now. And uh, no word has been made on uh, if anybody has been arrested or anything like that. But, you know, they made they hurry up and um, solved it case in which um, the people died at the hands of some some kidnappers in Mexico. They, they solved it with swiftness. But. um this case here looks like it's in limbo or something. So I wonder what the uh what in the world is going on. You know, they just gonna uh let her killer just roam around all willy nilly. You know, they they get to live their lives. They get to maybe even still be productive by going to work, you know, and Living their best life, probably. They probably sitting back, thinking about this, reflecting on it, and laughing it, laughing about it, and having drinks and all this crap to it. So is is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? We um we're letting people uh get away with murder now. You know, people that people that didn't deserve to get murdered or treated like this. You know, people that were very um, generous and accommodating to our friends. We allowing um, people like this to um, just be taken away from here. Even when you got a video, we're just allowing um, her to um, just depart from our memory like that. So we're just gonna um let the uh world forget about her. Is that is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Wow. Wow. So uh so it's no wonder that you know her parents are uh trying to get the president in on this because you know, this is crazy. You know, something got to be done. You know, can't just be uh, allowing people that's been caught on video to just still be out here, you know, li pro probably living their best life. You know, it sends the wrong message, really. And mainly, mainly, you know, the family ain't really getting no justice. You know, while um, a wrong a wrong message is being conveyed because you said in the message that somebody can um, be killed as long as it's done in another country or in Mexico. You send in the message saying that uh, you can kill somebody, but just make sure you uh, take a trip to Mexico. Just take make sure you take them down to Mexico. Make sure you do it in Mexico and then come back to the States. Is that the message that we want to send? Is that, is that what we're doing? Oh, okay. That's what we're doing. That's what's going on because cause Mexico ain't going to do jack. You know what I'm saying? So it's anything goes in Mexico. Is that, is that what's going on? Sure does seem like it. Meanwhile, this, this you no. Know, this young lady's family is uh, still grieving, and uh, who knows how many, who knows how many, you no know, sleepless nights, you know, they've had, or are, are still having. You know, constantly having to, you know, relive this every day. No. While uh, her killers are, you know, still 
doing, you know, who knows what. I ain't facing no consequences. <clears throat> so, uh, now me personally, I feel the same way, uh, I feel about, you know, George, George, uh, Zimmerman, like, like, cause sometimes I be saying, why is George, Jim, George, uh, Zimmerman, Zimmerman still walking around and ain't nothing happened to him. So, you know. So just like I say, some street justice needs to happen. And it Zimmerman, uh, Trayvon situation, you know, some I wouldn't be mad if some street justice happened in this situation. You know, if somebody was to you know, find these killers and and make something happen on site when they see the killers of uh Shanquilla, you know what I'm saying? Because they was dead wrong. They didn't have to do that girl like that. You know what I'm saying? Told her on call for, you know. After she was the one that, you know, to take care of everything financially. You know, regardless of what y'all was arguing about. Just don't make no sense. And uh, I'm just hoping that they meet their they meet their uh karma you know since um the judicial uh system don't want to make a move you know shoot i'm i'm okay with at this point i'm okay with some good old uh street justice you know what i'm saying street justice cuz people can't be getting away with stuff like this. You know, I'm not saying it's going to bring her back or it's going to make the parents feel better, but, well, shoot, you never know. You never know. It might, it might well make, a, make the parents feel better, but, but you got to say, it's about, it's, about, it's about sending the right message. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't, can't keep doing people like this. You know, I I get mad myself when I think about it. <clears throat> but um, so that's uh that's what that's all I wanted to say um on this matter here. Um and I just want to let it be known that that a lot of us haven't forgot about her, you know. We haven't forgot about this case, you know. It seems like some people want to make us forget about the case. It's like they low-key trying to sweep sweep it up under the rug. But, nah, we ain't forget. You know, her parents most definitely haven't forgot. So, I guess um, everybody got to play a waiting game, you know what I'm saying? They talking about um, the extraditing process and all this stuff, saying that um, it's a lengthy process because the courts here got to approve of, of the extradition uh, process, and then another court got to allow uh, the people that's being extradited to fight being extradited. I'm like, man, it's just too much going on. Too much, uh, too many formalities that got to take place, you know what I'm saying? But before any of that got to happen, they got to be arrested first, you know? <laughs> Shoot. But another question is, who who would be the one which agency would be the one arresting these people? That's the thing. Because they're they're no longer in Mexico. We already know that. So yeah. But that that's that's what I wanted to talk about. Um that's all I got for right now. 
you know. All right, and uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Holla at y'all later. Peace.